Hey Deckers, so you want to change the UMA frame size on your Steam Deck so you can get better results in Windows. Well, I've got just the trick for you. All you need to do is shut down the Steam Deck and then wait for it to complete. If you don't know what this is about, I will show you exactly what this does at the end, but this is really only relevant for running Windows unless somebody can definitively tell us that the UMA frame size is used in Linux. Once the Steam Deck is shut down, you need to press and hold the power button and the plus button. And if this doesn't work first time, as the Steam Deck logo comes up, press the plus button again and you should get the boot menu. So you'll see four icons like this. You want to go to the setup utility in the bottom right. And then when you're in the setup utilities, or also known as BIOS, you want to go down to the advanced menu on the left and then go into this section and scroll down to the UMA frame buffer size. This is 1G by default, and you want to change this to 4G. This will quadruple the frame buffer size for Windows specifically. Like I said, I'm not sure if this actually takes effect in Linux. Make sure you save this by pressing the two square button button up in the top left, not exit without savings and then your Steam Deck will reboot. If you were looking to play FIFA 23, this is actually a very important change because the one on the left here is the one gig frame time buffer and the one on the right is the four gig frame buffer. That's the only setting difference between these two and you can see a massive difference in the quality and the stability of the game here. More on the gameplay of FIFA coming up very soon on the channel, but that's all you need to do. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.